So guys, I have serious issue to discuss with you. Uh, before we start this video off, uh, even though it's the end of the day, I want to talk to you guys. Amanda computer screen. No one is commenting on these freaking videos. I'm sure half the people watching these watch for about five seconds and click away. But I know the other half of you at least watch for a little bit. So even if you absolutely hate the video, let me know you hate it and comment and say, this video sucks. Or if you know it was somewhat entertaining, you know, let me know, hey, I really liked seeing your baby hang upside down. That was hilarious. Or I want to see more of that Great Dane. Show me him doing something awesome. Something like that. Just let me know. Give me some feedback. Because so far, literally zero. And I'm not going to lie. It's a little depressing. Uh, anyways, other than that, like, share, spread the word. Let's get on with the day. Good morning, guys. Uh, I believe this is the seventh day. Uh, so before we get too far, quickly, I want you guys to click like and then share this video with at least two people. Uh, the only way that we're going to get the word out about this daily vlog for a year thing. So uh, quickly click like and share it before you keep watching. I'll wait. Like it? Who are you going to share it with? Alright, I'm going to assume you're honest and that you shared it. Uh, I want to show you something. Every Wednesday, this little car is somehow able to fit a 140 pound Great Dane, a 20 something pound little baby, and then me. We take Apollo into what's called a uh, Sniff Dog Hotel. It's like a doggy daycare. Uh, every Wednesday we try to. He actually hasn't been for like a month, but we try and go every Wednesday because otherwise he gets crazy in the house and then Ashley has to deal with him all day when she gets home. So it's for both our and his sanity that we try and get him to this daycare place so he can run around and play with some of the dogs. So here we are at Sniff Dog Hotel. They just remodeled this place. It's huge. Um, it's ridiculous. If I was smart, I would have invested in a dog hotel like five, ten years ago. But I didn't. Out. on the screen so I was just catching Patrick not working and he was playing with his phone or probably playing some magic <laughs> green onions chives with the bacon all half and half maple bars I love me some maple bars that looks delicious, but it probably wouldn't be good for my New Year's resolution. It still kind of weirds me out that uh, buying alcohol in stores is legal now. Uh, I don't know if it's like this in other states, but in Washington, just this last year, we legalized buying hard alcohol in stores, and so it's kind of still weird to see that, but. Uh, I wonder how many states, are there any other states where it is legal to do that or isn't? Uh, let me guys, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to see how many states have uh, like specific liquor stores or if you have to go to some uh, special place or if you can kind of buy anywhere like you can in Washington now. I'm such a fat kid, I love the smell of Burger Bill. I never ever go there because it's super expensive, but uh, I live right by one and I'm always tempted to go in there, but I never do. Way better than Burger King, but definitely not worth the price. So what did you guys think of the uh, little Nerf battle we had today at work? It was more of a first-person shooter Nerf thing as I was going around spying on my employees. That's the benefit of uh, being in charge of my department, is I can walk around and check on other people, and I may look like I'm doing nothing, but I'm actually working. I'm making sure people are getting stuff done. 
but I was kind of playing around. But you know, you gotta do that at work. I'm, I'm sure everybody, even if you work at Wendy's or something like that, you gotta have a little time in the day, you know, a little five minute break where you decompress for a little bit. And it just so happens that at my work, we like to shoot Nerf guns or go on a trip to 7-Eleven. So you know, you gotta decompress in there. Um, yeah, so just, that was a little snippet into the day. Uh, oh, what's this you say? Why, why don't you click this link below to find out what this green screen Darth Vader is pertaining to? Uh, if you do know, leave a comment and let me know what it is, cause I don't know. Well, actually I know, but let the other people know what it is. I'd be curious if anybody actually can call it out. Um, other than that, I wanted to talk, I wanted to get serious here. Um, I realized I never really told you guys why I'm wanting to do this whole daily vlog thing. Uh, I just, lately, I'm sure everybody's heard that's watched this, or maybe you haven't heard, because you only know me. Of uh, Shay Carl, Shay Tards, he's it's kind of who I'm modeling this whole daily vlog thing after. He uh, has been doing it for five years now, a video every day. Uh, I believe it's about five years. But anyways, I remember watching one of his videos where they're talking about how their kids really like to go back and watch things that they don't even remember doing. And I thought that was really cool to be able to go back and see things and have Emma, baby chick, and have baby chick go back and watch videos of her hanging upside down when she was 15 months old because there's no way she's going to remember that. So I just, that and me going back and seeing what's happening and just remembering things that I don't remember doing. Uh, I just thought it was really cool. Not to mention I hope you guys would be entertained by it. Uh, and I know my family likes to see what we're doing. My mom who lives over in Texas, she loves keeping in touch. She's the one person that's commented on my video. Sad day. Uh, <laughs> but it was just a really cool idea. So I just wanted to let you know that that's why I'm doing this because I think it's kind of really cool to kind of document uh, life. That and I've always wanted to be on a reality show ever since like Survivor season one yeah that's right I watched Survivor season one uh, I even applied to be on the amazing race maybe I'll show you my application video sometime in the next couple days uh, I applied to be on amazing race I applied to be on wipeout I applied to be on fear factor and I don't remember what I, I've applied to a lot of reality shows and sadly I have never gotten a callback but Maybe that's one of the reasons I also wanted to do this because it's the closest I could get to being on a reality show uh, hosted by myself, starring myself. Uh, but yeah, anyways, just giving you guys an update, letting you know why it is I'm doing what I'm doing and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. Anyways.